All right, let's be honest, today's video on the Mavic 4 Pro, yeah, not exactly edge of your seat exciting, but that's not our fault. We pretty much know what it looks like. We've got a few confirmed specs, but beyond that, we don't actually know what you want us to tell you yet. We're all just waiting for the full details to leak, which shouldn't take too long considering DJI is rumored to announce it around April, unless they push it back to June. Because, you know, delays love to happen when we're actually excited about something. But while we wait, let's talk about something very obvious, the size difference between the Mavic 4 Pro and the Mavic 3 Pro. And yeah, the 4 Pro, it's a unit. We knew it was going to be heavier, but now we're seeing just how much bigger it actually is. This thing looks like it's been hitting the gym. Now, check out the camera module. It's bulkier, but in a good way. The whole setup looks smoother and more enclosed, which could mean better thermal management and extra protection for the sensors. Compare that to the Mavic 3 Pro's more open boxy design, and it definitely feels like DJI is aiming for something more durable this time around. The Hasselblad branding is still front and center, so you already know they're not messing around with image quality. The propellers got a glow up too. They're bigger, and like we mentioned in a previous video, DJI added a little easy release disc on top. Not only does it make swapping them out easier, but it should also improve airflow and keep dust and rain from sneaking into the motors. Now, let's talk about some juicy stuff. Maro Tandoy recently posted an image showing the Mavic 4 Pro supports 6K at 60fps, 4K at 120fps, C4K HLG, D-Log, and D-Log M. Solid lineup. A few days ago, Leaker Ellens shared an image showing zoom levels from 2.5x all the way to 24x. Compare that to the Mavic 3 Pro, which has 3x optical zoom and maxes out at 28x digital. So DJI might be tweaking how zoom works this time, or maybe it's just slightly different numbers for the same system. Either way, from the screen recordings we've seen, the results look just as crisp as the Mavic 3 Pro, but we want more. Now we just sit back, wait for the full spec sheet, and see if DJI throws in any surprises. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Peace.